Welcome back to our Lean Revolution Saga. Chapter 2. Wastes and How to Fight Them. Final Exam Answer. I find that the harder I work, the more luck I seem to have. Thomas Jefferson. In the previous video, we talked about our final exam for Chapter 2. We agreed to test our skills in creating lean, wasteless procedures. If you missed that video, click the link below and catch up so you're on the same page. The exam was to develop and validate a ham and cheese omelette procedure, and I'm happy to tell you that three folks sent me their exams and passed the test. As promised, I sent them their copies of this ebook. While all three procedures were well done, one of them was almost flawless. In the previous video, I promised to show you my answer to the exam, but since I got such a good example from our subscriber, I'll share with you Chester's procedure instead. But before we continue, remember to click that subscribe button below so we can inform you of our new videos. Here's Chester's story of the development of his procedure. He followed all the steps that we discussed in the previous video. He asked his wife Emily to cook the omelette. He recorded his observations. Chester asked his daughter Freya to follow his instructions and cook another omelette. They tasted the omelette and were happy with the results. As you may recall, this chapter covered 26 possible waste categories in typical ISO management system procedures. I checked Chester's instruction against this list and did not see any unnecessary information. He used our lean template procedure that helped him to prevent 15 waste categories from polluting his instruction. He completed our document change checklist to control the remaining 11 wastes. Now, you may wonder why earlier I called this procedure almost flawless if all was well done. Well, the author did follow the process, but there were a few small misses. Let's call them opportunities for improvement. The template procedure that I recommended, among others, encompassed revision level in the header, evidence of review and approval at the end, and the call for verification of the currency of the revision in the footer. The author did not include these three elements in his procedure. Also, I would not use italicized titles, just for consistency reasons. He completed the document change checklist, and it also had a couple of misses. For some reason, the author selected no for the current revision of the template in line one. Probably just wrong selection, or he implied that he used his own, and the completion date was missing at the end of the checklist. To summarize, an ounce of practice is generally worth more than a ton of theory. E.F. Schumacher. This concludes our chapter two final exam answer. I want to congratulate our final exam winners and invite you to follow me to chapter three. There we'll talk about examples of lean processes that may help you optimize your ISO management system. Feel free to use the links below to download our template procedure and document change checklist. If you can't wait for the following videos, or you would prefer to read the book at your own pace, click the links below to buy a paperback or ebook copy. Thank you for listening, and until next time.